I also just quickly wanted to show you guys what kind of bleach I used. It's nothing special. It's just regular old laundry bleach. Kroger brand. Kro blah blah. Sorry. <laughs> Kroger brand. Nothing special. Just regular old bleach. And uh, so just make sure if you guys are going to do this. If you do it inside, make sure it's well ventilated. You may even want to wear a mask because I was outside, but even with being outside, <laughs> I didn't have a mask on and I kind of started feeling a little woozy. And you may also want to wear gloves just to protect your skin. Bleach doesn't really bother my skin and I just made sure that I um, rinsed my hands and I'm going to rinse my shoes tomorrow with hydrogen peroxide because that's supposed to neutralize it and keep it from like spreading and dying anything else. So just remember those little tips and tricks if you guys are gonna try this at home. All right guys, so I'm gonna attempt to do some reverse tie-dye. I've got four black shirts here. And I'm just gonna do different styles for each of them, or try anyway, I've never done this before, so wish me luck and here I just have literally this is just bleach I didn't water it down or anything because I saw a lot of people um, not doing half bleach half water so I'm gonna see if that works out on all black shirts the first method I think I'm gonna try is the scrunch method so basically I'm just gonna show you a little bit of how you do it because I only have one hand available for this. So basically you just take the shirt and like scrunch it up however you want. Like that. Then I'm literally just gonna go in with some bleach and see what happens. Hopefully I don't completely ruin the shirt. <laughs> so as you guys can see it is already starting to turn colors here. It's actually kind of cool looking already. Um, that's kind of what it looks like right now. So I'm going to flip it and do the other side now. Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to show you shirt number one. There we go. Get some light going. So I'm outside, so that actually looks... Let me back up a little bit and see if you can see it any better. There we go. Yeah, so that's the front. That's all ready. And here's the back of it. Sorry, that's a little close, but I think that looks pretty dang cool already. On to shirt number two. So the second shirt I'm going to do is one of my little camisoles. I think I'm going to try and do the, um, instead of the spray setting, I'm going to try and do the stream setting and see what it does. So here we go. It's going to go crazy here. So it's definitely starting to turn colors already. You guys can't really see it too well in this light because it is getting dark outside, but I, I will definitely show you the finished product tomorrow after I get all these done. I'm going to attempt to do the swirl method. From my understanding, this does better when the shirt is already damp, but we'll, we'll just have to see here. So I've done three of them so far. This is the cami. It's looking pretty cool actually. This is the one I just did the swirl on. And that's the first one I did with just the crumple method. They're actually all looking pretty cool. I'm about to do the last one now. So sorry this is kind of a sporadic video guys. <laughs> I ran out of sunlight. I'm just checking on my shirts really quick. I'm gonna let them sit overnight. That's the first one. That was the crinkle. This is the one I swirled. 
This is the one that I just kind of sprayed down. My husband said it looks like blood spatter. <laughs> I think it's cool though. And then this one, I attempted to like do a tiger strike type thing. It actually looks pretty cool. Anyways though guys, like I said, I'm going to let these sit overnight. Because I really am hoping they'll get brighter than that. And um, I'm going to check on them in the morning. I did want to quickly note that just putting bleach alone in the spray bottle, it really made it hard to spray after a little bit. So I, I understand why people do a one-to-one -one ratio, like one cup bleach to one cup water or however you want to do it because it gets a little hard to spray. At, or, I mean, it might just be my bottle, but it was a lot easier to spray it after I added the water, which makes sense because bleach, bleach is kind of thick. And, uh, so, and it also did not seem to affect the color. Thank you. 